All right, everybody, go ahead and welcome another first play the day after launch day. This is a game called Reball. Looks like a pretty fun little game, a retro game with some strategy involved, an arcade 2D abstract indie game. Uh, welcome to the game at Reball. This is a minimalistic arcade puzzle game in the genre of Breakout. Um, yeah, I guess I can see how it might be like a breakout game. You're breaking the bricks or whatever. So this is by a developer. Now take notice, guys, here. We see a 40% discount. Now, if you've watched any of my reviews before on my YouTube channel, you'll know that there are red flags to look out for. And one of them is a brand new game coming out with a hefty 40% discount. This is the biggest discount you can give one of your games uh, at launch. And anytime you see a brand new game launching with a 40% discount, that is a huge red flag for an asset flip. Basically, some a developer basically, you know, downloading a bare bones kit off of Unity or Unreal Engine or elsewhere, and uh, not really doing anything to it except hitting export, and maybe changing the name of it, and then reselling it as is without doing any fucking work at all to the game except putting it up on Steam, making a Steam store page, which really doesn't take that long, and renaming the game. So we have a red flag there with that 40% discount. Anytime you see a brand new game with a 40% discount, again, I'm not talking about a game that's been out six months or a year, years, uh, that might have a 60% discount or whatever. That's not a red flag. But a game, a brand new game that just launched with a 40% discount, huge red flag that what you're buying very well may be either trash or an asset flip, right? So another big red uh, flag for any kind of a you know game or asset flipper is when you click on the developer name and you see that they have a lot of games in a short period of time. So if we sort this by release date, guys, right, we see that this game, guys, this developer's first game came out on April 13th. April 13th as well, he launched another game. Barely two weeks later, he launched his third game. Two days later after that, we have a fourth game. So in two weeks here, we have four fucking games. And then on May 15th, he launches another five games all at once. This right here, when you see a whole lot of games launched in a very short period of time, another big time red flag that we probably have an asset flipping developer that's really not coding his own games, really not doing any work himself. He's just buying asset kits, bare bones fucking asset kits, Probably off the Unity store in this, in this, this looks like Unity graphics. Uh, bare bones asset kits, hit and export, and uploading the Steam as is. Um, so this here, we have, what, nine games in a month? And then on June 3rd, we have another game. June 6th, three days later, another game. And then five days later, we have another game. The next day, another release. Uh, Reball on June 12th, and two games here just yesterday released. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and take a look and launch this fucking game, right? Another big red flag, guys, is when you look at the Steam, if you look at the, uh, you know, like no controller support, no Steam achievements, no Steam high scores, nothing like that under the feature, it's a single player or whatever. That's another big red flag for an asset flip as well. So we already have three huge red flags, but this is an asset flipping, lazy, almost corrupt developer. Um, just in it to try to make a minimal profit or be taking the keys that he's getting for his games and selling the keys to turn a quick profit on key selling websites. Zaxter 99. So when we launch the game, guys, we have the uh, Unity launcher. And we launch this game. Let's take a look at it and see what you're getting for a buck seventy-nine. My guess is it's going to be a very bare bones type game, and we have no tutorial. We have no options. We have, yeah, I'm hitting the escape key, guys. We don't even have a way to escape the game. Another big red flag for an asset blip. The developer basically bought a bare bones kit, didn't even bother to put in a way to exit the game or escape the game. Put in no options, no resolution options, no windowed or full screen mode nothing right so i don't even know how the fuck you play this game um okay
Okay, so we have the following tiles here, and it looks like we are trying to... What are we doing here? Okay. Trying to figure out the controls here. Okay. Controls are really fucking weird. I don't understand what the... Times two multiplier. Weird. Regardless, as you guys can see, this is a very bare bones type game. Um, and you can see that it needs a lot more to it to be fun. It doesn't have any kind of special effects when the bricks break. There's no kind of special effects. That's because this is just a bare bones game, right? Uh, we don't even have a way to escape the game. I'm sitting here pounding my escape key, and it's not escaping. I'm going to have to control alt delete and go to my task manager uh, to delete this fucking game, right? So, this here, guys, is exactly what I thought it was when I looked at it, when I said the red flag, when I saw the red flag here with a 40% discount launch, when I saw the red flag here with no Steam achievements, no high scores, no nothing there, and especially the biggest red flag when I saw that this guy's put out 15 games in two months. That's the definite signs of an asset flipper. This guy is doing no work himself. He's just changing the names of asset kits. He's getting really cheap over on Unity and uh, hitting export on all of them. And these are not, um, you know, these are not complete games. These are templates, right? Complete game template. It's meant to kind of help you learn code, kind of give you a base foundation of a game. Uh, you know, they're hoping that you maybe take this game, learn from it, learn from the code. Maybe add your own stuff in here, not just leave all these as ones, twos, and threes, and stuff like that. Maybe add special effects. Definitely add a way to exit the game. Definitely add maybe options for resolution, sound volume, stuff like that. But this developer has basically taken this asset kit. Who knows? He probably didn't pay. Another big thing with these asset flippers is they don't actually buy these things. They are downloading these fucking kits that are uploaded on torrents. Kind of like Pirate Bay or, you know, file sharing sites or whatever. Um, I'm not saying this developer actually got this particular kit off a of torrent. But this is what we have. As you can see, this is the Ball X Infinite Brick Breaker. And you can see the game is exactly the same thing as what we have. So he's taken this kit, simply hit export and exported the game as is. Doing no work himself. All he's really doing is changing the name from Ball X to Reball. Right? Renaming Ball X to reball this is an asset flip this is a terrible game and this makes my miss maggot infested stinky shit number 157 another lazy corrupt asset flipper on steam and uh this is uh exactly what we thought it was exactly the reason why anytime you're looking at new games on steam always watch for these red flags guys and shame on you quick baller for just trying to make a quick dollar uh, by flipping assets and doing no work yourself and adding nothing new or good to Steam except more lazy asset trash uh, where you're doing no work, you're not being creative at all, you're not doing anything special, you're just making a quick selfish dollar uh, and flooding Steam with more fucking garbage. So that is miss number 157 guys, uh, Reball and a, another asset flipper on Steam, as there are so many of nowadays. I swear to God, it seems like Steam nowadays, 80% of the fucking shit that's uh, launching on Steam nowadays is either asset flips, asset trash, where people are cobbling together a bunch of assets that they buy. Uh, they don't know anything about coding or how to code a game, but they just buy a whole bunch of assets and mash them together in the Unity un or Unreal Engine into a big fucking incohesive mess, hit export, and launch a big fucking broken game but they make a you know really nice looking trailer from the nice looking assets that they bought and the trailer will sell a lot of fucking bullshit for them but the game will be broken as fuck and they don't care if they get fucking 80 percent negative reviews they make their initial you know however much money uh their first week or two and then they fucking always launch the game at 90 percent off sales to make an extra few bucks um like steam is so full of fucking garbage nowadays it seems like it's either 80 percent Asset flips like this game, asset trash as I just mentioned, or fucking hentai garbage games. 
Uh, seems like that's 80% of what's on Steam anymore. It's fucking sad. I really wish Steam would look at getting some fucking quality control. Um, and one reason that, you know, Epic Games may actually end up beating Steam out, because at least Epic has some quality control. I mean, I love Steam, I've been a, you know, uh, I've been playing games on the Steam platform for almost 10 years now, but I just fucking hate the fact that they have zero quality control and give two fucks about what kind of garbage and asset books and stuff like that is launched on their game all the time. It just seems like the game is way too fucking greedy. They don't give a fuck, they just care about the almighty dollar, um, and they don't care what kind of garbage and you know, how bad of a reputation they get for this kind of shit. Anyway, thanks so much for watching this stream. If you're watching this video, uh, that is that. Thanks so much for watching everybody. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think.